accidental Nazism. Ow, my wrist. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hi everyone, I'm Corwin. This is Adam. You're watching Handbats of Gaming. We're continuing to play Dream Daddy, a dad simulator. My Win. name is Daniel. Let's start the show. We're at a concert. Oh no, these guys. <laughs> Wait, that was a mix of the teenager and oops. What? Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. What is this? I'm going to force choke them. Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Oh, I love this guy. Thanks. I put in the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. Man, this guy is nicer than me. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. Yeah, those are expensive. The set seems to go on forever, but there's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' job is specifically just to burn poetry... to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? Hmm. That? That's the other kid again. Right? Uh... One more time. We'll try it that's one more on time. It's on you, man. Oh, you're just not I'm, looking at all. That's because I'm really cool and you're not. So I'm saying, like, the cool thing to do is let it go, get through the music. You're both wearing earbuds. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Damn it. Wrong again. Now you drop it. Yes, you try yeah. twice and then just like, oh, never mind. Wasn't important. He can't hear me. So I just stop and try to enjoy the music. It doesn't go well. Okay, no. This is impossible. Oh, God. I'm gonna have a seizure. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? I'm accidentally dabbing here. <laughs> oh. Eventually, eventually, the set ends. But only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something I promised Pup is much better. Whose voice is that? It's a kid again. Yeah, there we go. Now I got it. It took me a second. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answers to. Oh, yeah. He sprains his ankle at every show. They're being so real about that. Oh, why? Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to be able to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? <laughs> I'm going to die here! What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I ever going to see my daughter again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt! Almost lost you, buddy! We're... Woo! I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude! He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah, Pop really brings out the crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one of the things to listen to music and concert with it. But when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music, just the same way that you are, that's magic. He's I right. suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. <laughs> this, ma this man is me. Yeah, Hurry up, man. There's about to go on. I squeeze my way out of the crowd toward the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing, eyeliner wing going halfway across her face. I don't know what that means. It's when they like eyeliner. Oop. Over. Oh which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. Damn. 
That's a bad idea for a concert venue. Oh, yeah. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around in the venue all crowded up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? Jump. 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 Jump it up. Every This concert. What? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there, too. I gotta find him before I get trampled by all these rowdy youths. Uh, what are the controls? Find that dad. Find that dad. Oh, what? I don't... I don't... I don't understand. The man gotta get past him. Like, I keep getting... Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay, here we go. Uh, come get, rumps? get out of my way, you piece of shit! We Wait, where? Why can't I go further for or like? Okay, t keep an eye out for Matt, because if like if I see him and miss him, I thought Matt's the guy in the green shirt there. Oh wait, I'm trying to get. Oh, that's Matt. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. But then I've caught him like multiple times. What am I doing, Corwin? Oh wait, I need to get up to the stage. Oh no, man, I'm trying to enjoy this. Oh no, I have to. I have to just find that dad. Is what it says. So I don't see him unless that's him in the green. I, I thought it was him in the green, but you've touched that one a few times. Yeah, I keep touching that dad. But I need to not get trampled by the dudes. And I keep picking up hearts, so that's good. I guess, okay, there's a timer running. Okay, wait, wait. D have I passed through one of those before? Oh, crap, I missed a heart. Shit. Game over, man. Oh, man, you got this. This is intense, but you got it. Okay, okay. I have no idea what's happening. I'm very stressed. I don't know. I don't know who I am. Or what I'm doing. Okay, okay. I don't. I definitely recognize that. That's Game Grumps music. Is it? That band that uh. Starbomb? No, it isn't. I don't think so. At least not one of their bigger songs. Because I've I've listened to that multiple times. Ouch! Oh no! What? Oh, I guess I took too much damage. I'm out. Oh damn it! Ah, oh, why do I fail at all the mini games? Oh man! After searching and searching, I realize it's impossible. I'll never be able to find Matt in the sea of subculture. I guess I'll just camp out here. I watch Pup set by my lonesome out, uh, out next to a bunch of hip 20-somethings. I can tell they're judging my clothes, and I want so badly to grab them by the shoulders and explain the usefulness of utility pockets, but I... Yeah! I'm wearing cargo pants right now. He legitimately is. But I try to focus on the concert. Man, I wish Matt were here. Me too! God damn! Oh, 16 seconds away! The show finally ends and I wait for Matt outside. After a minute or two, Matt spots me. Dude! You sure are a sight for sore eyes. Sorry I lost you back there. It's all good. Wasn't it a great show? Totally. Would have been more fun with you, though. Well, next time I guess we'll have to hold... We'll have to hold hands the whole time so we don't lose each other, huh? I'm okay with that. I laugh. Am I blushing? You hungry? I got a dick sandwich. <laughs> Starving. Or Dick. Follow me! To Dick Town. Matt and I walk to a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. Oh, I love a good diner. He does. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. I, I love a corner booth! So here I am in the pit trying to explain to, to the face tattoo guy that I don't mean to elbow him in a face tattoo, but he's already seeing red! Yeah, you don't fuck with somebody with a face tattoo, because if they do that to their own face, imagine what they'll do to yours. Not for the tattoo, which consistently was red. He's lumbering toward me, there's no way to go. You know what I've got stuck in my head right now? Still red, nah, yeah, nah. It's even some in silver deserts, and you know that song I'm referring to? Nope. No right. idea. In the end of... It's the end of me, right? And out of nowhere, this idea, I just leaned back and spread my arms, just like... That, and a crowd surfing away from him in slow motion. You should have seen the look in his face. Bought him a beer afterward, and we're cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Yeah, man, just goes to show that punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and uh, hire babysitters. So how did you get to see all of those amazing concerts? Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We're, we're small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Yeah, man, I mean, we were poor, and we had to scrap a lot together just to survive. 
but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. But yeah, that's how I know a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. If you know what I mean. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. <laughs> kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. Oh, he's a nice guy. That's really nice of you. That's what I just said. Thanks. Us single parents just really have to look out for each other. Exactly. How's Carmen Sita? I assume that was your wife's idea to name her that? <laughs> she says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> It'll be loud and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Have Can't you tried really math? Blame her. I am suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. Porn. Well, yeah. Well, no, um, that, that would be loud. Not that sounds. Oh, no, I see. I, I am all into just full volume scream porn. They don't, they're not even naked. They just yell at each other. That's hot. <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive of Camellia's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? I think it would be a good daddy daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. <laughs> oh. Like what? Uh, oh, wait, we see the one who said he likes, yeah, he likes uh, subtitled things. Yeah. Yeah. See, okay, we're going to, we're actually going to start trying to teach, treat yeah. this like a dating sim game. Big budget remakes of foreign films. Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. Eggplants, please. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our biggest, our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Oh, man. I was man. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. But mostly yeah. each other. I just... I don't know. Hmm. I get... really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too! I've never really considered myself an extrovert, and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation, always. It's me. It's oh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that? Well, yeah, I can listen. I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. That was a blast, man. Loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> ha, you and me both. Mm. I get your knees sore. I uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. Alright, I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. Matt called me cool! She says I'm cute! Yay! I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Hey, Pops. Hey, Pops. <clears throat> How was that show? Matt thinks I'm cool! You don't say. Manda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool! Blind leading the blind, huh? You're a, you're mean. Wow, <laughs> I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable! Alright, I'm hitting the hay, Pops. Sickle, I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. <laughs> Drink plenty of water, Corwin. It's important. Date complete! Goofy, protective, ear... Music. Yeah, C. Oh man. And you could have done better, but whatever. Good work, I guess. Dad points. Daddy points. Total. I don't know what any of this means. That's Stop! just numbers. I. Continuing. Go ask your mother. Yeah. While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. What do you do for a living? The nice male person slides a couple of letters and a large yellow envelope through the spot. Oh, she got to step into a college. I've it got takes a, a couple of tries for them to get it in. What? All right. So mom is gone. She died. Yes. Uh, mom might have had like a huge like uh, 
life um, insurance policy. And now he's not working. Oh, okay. And so that he can focus on, on, on raising gr- his daughter. Okay. His daughter. Yeah. Okay. And that's why I'm going he's to stop judging anything. him for having so much free time. Yeah. Because he's got a hard life. Well, you're yeah, being now- really judgmental of him. So how about you step the fuck back and just? I'm just let it go and flip it out of it. I'm sorry, but on Garth. the next on the next episode, no, we'll let's find go out. for a little while longer. Okay. Hey, my coupons. <laughs> I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda. She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. It's I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. That's the home internment area. You're grounded. (laughs) (laughs) Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. And on the next episode, we'll find out what happened with that. Yep, stuff and things. Uh, Whose dad do you think is hairier of our two dads? Answer below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Uh, give us game suggestions down there as well. If you like our stuff, subscribe and share those videos around because that's neat. Bye, guys. Something. I forgot the name already.